Cardinals are at odds of 25 to 1 to win the World Series. They're 10 to 1 odds to win the National League pennant and 9 to 2 odds to win the National League Central. The St. Louis Cardinals missed the postseason for the first time since 2010, but still most teams would be happy with 86 wins and second in their division. The Cardinals should be in the mix again this season with Mike Matheny at the helm, and they should be able to push the rival Chicago Cubs if a few bounces go their way. The Cardinals had nine players in double-digit home runs, led by Jed Giorko with 30, but he might not even play every day. Brandon Moss is in Kansas City now, and Matt Holliday left for the New York Yankees. The Cardinals might have to find another way to generate runs. Dexter Fowler came over from the Cubs, and hopefully Matheny will give him more of a green light on the base pass than he has with players in the past. Yadier Molina hits for average, and he continues to be one of the best behind the plate when it comes to handling pitchers. The Cardinals have to be better in the field, especially at Lemmy's Diaz, who had 16 errors at shortstop, while Carpenter with 13 and Giorca with 10 also struggled at times. The Cardinals just keep pumping out quality starters, and Carlos Martinez reached the 16 win mark in his fourth season. Martinez leads a rotation that also has Mike Leake, Adam Wainwright, Lance Lynn, and Michael Washa, and on paper, this looks like an excellent crew. However, the game is not played on paper, and some have struggled with age, injuries, or simply a drop in form. Kevin Segrist leads the middle relievers, while the Cardinals sign Brett Cecil to bolster the bullpen. The closer looks to be Seung Hwan Oh, who had 19 saves last season, although Trevor Rosenthal could get a look as well. Last season saw the Cardinals go 86 and 76, going 38 and 43 at home and 48 and 33 on the road. They were 83, 73 and 6 on the over/under. Taking a look at some players to watch for 2017, Dexter Fowler signed a five-year deal worth 82 and a half million dollars. But it'll be interesting to see how the fans respond to him, given their rivalry with the Chicago Cubs. The Cardinals needed a leadoff hitter, and Fowler can fill that role, as well as play in center field. Quietly, Fowler, who just turned 31, is under a lot of pressure to contribute right away. Randall Grichuk might be St. Louis's best chance at a pure slugger, as he hit 24 home runs, up from 17 in 2015. He turns 26 in August. He is due to play every day now after getting sent down last year, but the Cardinals won't be afraid to send him to the minors as they did last season. Carlos Martinez will be the opening day starter, and he could be a dark horse to win the Cy Young Award. His ERA went up after the All-Star break, but Martinez, who turns 26 in September, should be able to improve that. He was also strangely better on the road than he was at home, so keep an eye on that. Michael Washa turns 26 in July, and he was supposed to be the next one in the Cardinals' line of pitchers. After a 17-win campaign in 2015, he struggled last year, and injuries had something to do with that. If he is healthy, expect Washa to bounce back in 2017. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.